Yeah. He yeah. never, but the, but the, the dude's a fucking puppy. Straight up, on some real shit, the dude's a fucking puppy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not him. It ain't Drake. No, it's, no, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, what I come to find out. The guys in between that want to spark. See, this is the thing. We want, people want um, some exciting news in, in hip-hop, in Canadian hip-hop to, to talk about and to fucking blow it up out of proportion, and it really ain't all that because this shit, to me, tell you the honest truth, it ain't, it's just some high school shit. This yeah, man, saying. but dude's a puppet. Dude got this niggas in his circle. He don't even understand. Like, on some real shit, sport, Windsor Sports Weekend, now we keep talking about that. Drake, tell them how your fucking ass got beat the fuck up and your niggas was in the hotel laughing at you. Now you fucking out there, got them all in your ear trying to do diss records. And at the end of the day, like, niggas don't understand how deep the shit could get. You know what I'm saying? And we're being men about the situation, not taking it there. And the whole time that I've been up there, I've been telling niggas, like, these niggas are throwing shots at us. But, may, like, my, my niggas thought I was paranoid. Like, yo, man, they ain't throwing shots at us. They ain't throwing shots at us. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you got something to get off your fucking chest, get it off your chest. Because yeah. all these niggas in the circle, we seen face to face. And it was a whole different, like, whole, dude, like, I don't even want to get into it because... On some serious shit, like I said, if niggas want to go to war on some lyrical shit or some other shit, it's whatever. I'm down. All I'm waiting for is the fucking phone call like, yo, Littles, do what you want to do. Because right now I'm just leaning back, chilling, you know what I mean? Because it's not my problem. They never said, like I, like I told you, say my fucking name. Say yeah. my name. Any nigga listening right now feels they want to diss Littles. To get they rap or, or get they shit up or feel that I said something about you in a song. No. If you feel I said something about you in a song or something and you're going to do your reply, please say my name. That's all I'm asking because I'm going to tell you straight up, when my tracks come out and my tracks hit the crack host, your names are going to be in it and it's going to be the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So if we seen you face to face and you started snitching on your mans, we're putting it in the song. So you might as well fess up to your man and tell him what you told us. All that shit. I hear everything out. Yeah, I hear that. Man. Man, all awesome. right, I hear every, because there's a big circle of niggas that are banging heads with each other, hanging with each other, fucking drinking and, and playing Xbox in the boxes with no shirts on together. There's a lot of that shit, a lot of homo activity going on. Right. There's a lot of niggas running around with thongs on. Uh, on some real shit, you know what I'm saying? And if you niggas want to step to us, we're going to bring it to light, and we're going to let everybody, because we don't bother nobody, what do we do? Right, we're right. running about here, like, Aristo got, Aristo got a fucking, Aristo got, Aristo starting a foundation. What up? What up, man? What's poppin', man? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> you obviously heard Littles. You obviously yeah. heard your track. You obviously heard the comeback from Aristo. Yeah. We need so, to hear your side of the story. We need man. to get Drake's side right now. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's 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 pretty straightforward, man. Like I know a lot of people have been discussing it and putting their own little twists on it and shit, and that's that's cool, man. Like you can only expect so much from 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 people who are entertained by this sort of thing, and that's you know that's kind of partly why we do it, and then there's, there's other reasons, but really, it just comes down to like you know I've been hearing it's just puppet thing like i tell you first of all the reason i called in is because it's like i know asiatic who who you know i got a lot of love for and respect for this dude mentioned that that he um talked to aristo last night i got a chance to talk to aristo and then you know little seems to be like the spokesperson for the whole clique so i mean i just i mean i know they got to tell their side so i feel like you know let me call in and just right. square it out give you, you know, another way to look at it. Basically, it's like, <clears throat> first of all, like, nobody told me to do no records. Like, don't get it confused. Like, people are in my head. Like, I make great decisions. That's why I make a lot of money, and that's why I'm worldwide. I'm not, like, I'm not worried about, you know, doing shows for $1,000 in Nova Scotia. Like, I don't give a fuck <laughs> about that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but don't get it twisted. Like, I love, I love doing everything but i'm just saying like you know the little things that they're trying to use against me to take little pot shots at me and shit like that it's kind of like all right whatever what, what's the I, uh, dog like uh, i gotta ask you man what is the what is the deal with the 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 reference to the thong no frills was asking earlier and, yeah. i don't know I, I really don't get it i mean it's like it's I, I like i said you know i made a comment the other night like I guess I guess it was just like you know it's a diss record you want to make your words rhyme or something i, I apparently they're saying that they know a girl that says I wear thongs or so. I mean, it's dumb shit. Like I really don't. I don't even get it. I, I wish somebody would explain that to me. I don't. I don't know what the whole story so, is. With so that. you're saying they don't have they don't have a picture of you on the internet like sitting in a thong, like you know. 
Nah, man, not me, bro. They, they you say, say no, no Gino exposing <laughs> game. Nah, not me, man. That's not me. <laughs> but, you know, it's cool, though. I mean, I guess it was just, just to be funny or uh, be cute or whatever. I don't know. But it, it comes down to this. It's like basically, um, you know, I felt like I felt like there was a shot taken at me yeah. in a song. Was that this um, magnificent you're referring to? Yeah, and I mean, I remember, like, you know, me and Aristo had a talk one time. Um, we, were, we were gonna do a record on a boy wanted beat, and he was like, Yeah, you know, you sound like Kanye or whatever. He made a comment like, I sound like Kanye West or some <laughs> shit like that. I was like, Cool, you know, it was it was more of a compliment at the time. And then I heard the record, like, sound like Kanye and Joe Budden. And, and people told me, like, that Do What You Do record was like, Oh, that's a Budden flow. You know, I heard that a couple times. So I was like, All right, maybe it's a shot at me, but I never really acted on it. I was like, Whatever. And then. Um, the other day, somebody brought something up to me about how those dudes were joking about how I took an L in Windsor. Like, yo, let me explain this Windsor thing, yeah, too. Yeah, because yeah, a lot yeah. of people... Do that, do that. The, the Windsor, Windsor thing is sports. something that yeah. none of these niggas were involved in or know about. You understand? They saw it. And I'm not going to lie. Like, yo, I took an L straight. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 it was between me and, a, me and a dude. It was It was over a girl that he was heartfelt over. Like, this nigga was sort of, you know... Touchy or emotional over you, 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 you talk about Aristo. No, 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 no. Oh. But, this is what I'm trying to show you. Those niggas are not involved. They, they never touched me once. Like, I didn't even know they were outside at the time. This is like some people from, some niggas I went to school with, like, you know, years ago. Okay. okay. And it's over some bullshit. Like, I just made a comment, like, it was basically a dude, like, yo, when I see you, I'm going to do something. So I stepped to him, and I'm like, yo, I'm here. Like, what? And it, it was a one-on-one -on -one at first. And then from the side, like, three of his niggas came and back, you know what I'm saying, jumped on me. I didn't get hit in my face or nothing like that. They kicked me a couple times, tore my shirt, whatever, whatever that was about. And, and yeah, man, like, I took the L. That's, that's all well and good, man. Like, everybody knows that because we're all out there kicking it. Um, what, I mean, what, what, do you ha what do you have to say about, like, going along with that, there's been, the, there's been obviously the shot thrown, uh, <laughs> talking about, um, from Aristo mentioning uh, Era and Rock's, and uh, you know I mean, what I mean? basically, dude, basically I going at that whole I can't control alliance. those things, man. That's 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 his choice. I mean, I don't know. It's, that's that's his choice. Like, well, believe me, when I did the re first of all, when I did the um, Good Night and Good Luck record, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if Aristo. Like, it's it's obvious it was it was a it was a record that could be a diss track. It could not be. I never said Aristo's name. Okay, the so Jeezy, the Jeezy flow, I heard he took offense to. Maybe it was like the short metaphors. Uh, okay. But anyway, it's like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yo, I didn't have that, that shot that he took in me in mind when I did that record. But it was more of, it was more like a general address. And you know what? From hearing his record, dude, I don't, I don't blame him because I would have done the same shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm not going to lie. Like, I expected some old bullshit. Like, I'm going to murder you when I see you type shit and and he, he you know he had something to say it was cool you know what i'm saying like i rocked with it for a minute i like rich kid that nigga got some beats you know what i'm saying it was cool like i rocked with it and it, it it's like this like people don't get it like people are like oh man why aren't we you know uniting and why we, like <laughs> it, this is rap man like this is what we do like it's competitive at times yeah. then there's you know there's other aspects you have to capture like yeah, getting your getting your product out there and getting the plays and and, and making hit records and and it's somebody who has that balance and that's what I was trying to that's what I was trying to display. Like uh, uh, I have hit I have hit records lined up for the next five six months, so I'm not worried about that because that's right. what I do on the regular. I just wanted to be like, yo, you know, I feel like I feel like like just tapping. I feel like tapping right now because somebody tapped me and I never really I didn't have the time to focus on it. So we're gonna hear, we're like gonna tapping. hear a round two. Is that is that what's going on here? I don't know, man. Well, I mean, you know, because I'm getting mixed reactions. Like, I, I don't like, like, I, I guess people feel because I'm on TV and because, you know, I guess I, I, I have money. People feel like I'm a bitch, you know, like these guys feel like I don't know. Uh, I didn't grow up in a, in a certain, like everybody like plays on this, like I grew up rich thing. Like, dude, I was in Memphis, Tennessee, you know what I'm saying? In, in White Haven. That's a fucked up place to be, and but I don't. I just don't make. I just don't like niggas that make records about struggling all their life. Chances are, if they can't do it creatively, they didn't really struggle. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, mm. and, and and that's all well and good. Like I, I really I respect the, the the hood. I respect the street. 
and and I respect street niggas. Like, but I'm not impressed by those things. Like, if you're bragging about drug dealing and you're broke, that's not cool to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And 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 okay. don't tell me about niggas that have been uh, here and there and are waiting to bang on me. Like that. Like the, I mean. So anyway, my point is, I I, I mean, I, it's an arm wax thing. Obviously, because I, I value my life. I'm not really going to throw it away over Aristo. But, I mean, um, there, there's no denying, like, yes, Aristo is more street than me. Congratulations, you win that award. Like, that's all good. But, I mean, niggas are taking it to, like, the, like, yo, oh, yeah, man, we're going to bang on this nigga and blah, blah, blah. It's just sort of like they go back and forth between, like, I'm going to lyrically attack him to we're going to do this and that. And it's like, and the other thing, too, is is, like, Okay, for for littles, like I'm sorry, dude. I'm not going to, like I'm not doing records for you. I don't know you. You know what I mean? I don't know you. I've never heard more than 45 seconds of your songs. I don't like. I'm I'm just not. I'm not interested in even dealing with you. Like if you want to talk for your people, that's cool. Same with like Silly Own Choice. Like Choice, I like Choice's music. I have no problems with Silly Own and anybody listening that. Like I have no problems with anybody there, so there's no sense in being like, okay. "Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna hear okay. me wilding out like fuck everybody." You know what I'm so, saying? So Drake, so um, okay, so like, like Biz was saying, we heard your point. What Drake, uh, not Drake, what Biz is trying to say, or what it was asking, is they're gonna be around too, or is this dead from now? Was there's put it this way, I'm gonna be blunt for the people yeah. that are listening. Yeah, is there now? Is there? Do you have a direct uh, beef with Aristo? You see what I'm saying, or is it, it does it does it end on wax? Like I said, I, I heard what you say. I want them to hear from your mouth. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it, it got personal, man. It got personal. It, 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 you know, he started talking about it, nigga, man, and, and and trying to convince people that he knows shit about me. So, okay. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to step up to the plate. Like you know, so I you're gonna do come. You're gonna man. come. I got it. I got to, man. Like that's just that's just the, the rapper in me. I got to, man. Okay. Got well, it. I got well, to do something. Well, what we I don't mean to cut you off, but we, what we were talking about earlier is that um, what everybody said, that no names were said. You see what I'm saying? People yeah. said no names. You didn't say no names. He didn't say no names. So how you know if it's a direct... You know, I'm not, like you said, don't take it like I'm taking sides or anything. Right, right, right. Because right, right. the same thing, if, he, if a whistle called, I'll ask him the same question. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? How do you know that there is... That he are you took talking that, about at the initial stages or are you talking about right now? Right now. Uh, well, well, I mean, that, like, you know... I'm talking about he, the music. Well, I mean, his first, his first, like his first line in this in this record is "Good morning, Mr. Big Dreams." Like that's you know that's my name, right? And then and then he goes on to say he goes on to repeat the line that he said in the Swagnificent uh, track or right. whatever. So it's like I mean to me it's it's kind of like all right, like I, there's no there's no doubt in my mind that who that record is about. Same way that I guess he yeah. felt there was no doubt doubt in his mind about. What the first record was All right, about. So, so since we got that clear, Toronto, yeah. there you have it. You heard it from the dude himself. You heard it from the man himself, Drake. That's what it is. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, Jake, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead. Jake, Jake, you know the spot where the fiends come to hear that next that next drop. You know Crack that. Crack cuffs, baby. Say what? You know, you know this is the this is the watering hole where those fiends come to hear the next drop when that's up. You know that you know where you got to bring it. Dog. Oh, you know we got uh, all that exclusive shit. You know what I mean? You got to hit us off before uh, everybody gets it. Though, man, this is why we do it. We do it for all these people that can't wait to hear. Straight that's up, why, that's, that's why, why, that's that's why, why it's a crack house. That's that why audio we're crack, in it, man. man. Crack house. You know what I'm saying? So don't like it's 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 not big. But I want to make something clear though. Go this ahead. isn't this isn't this isn't um like people are trying to classify this as like. The common stupid Toronto or Canadian <laughs> mistake. This is not a. This is like. This is just some some friendly competition. That's all it is, man. All right. You know, well, there don't, you don't, have don't, it. don't don't get don't don't get too taken with the with the logistics of it, man. Like this is just what rappers do. This is <laughs> all. We, when we get bored, this is what we do. You so know. Let me, so let, me, just, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. After you guys finish beefing, are you guys actually gonna sit down and write some real good music and put it out there for people to hear? Are you guys. Is everybody just gonna see and rap about hating each other? Ah, uh, nah, man, we can't do that, man. You know, it's, it's like, it, it's like, we, it, it's it's really, it's it's up to the whole. Like, there have to be a general, you know, uh, resolution. I don't know if we can really. I mean, it it, it it's possible. You know, I'm I don't hate him though. Like, don't. I mean, it's not like that. It's just 
It's just shot for shot. Like, that's just what happens hey, when like, you take a shot Like you somebody. said, it's a competitive game, man. It's a competitive game. That's all it like is. So you... we just keep it on the wax. and You know what I mean? I don't got exactly. nothing to say about that, but respect that. You see what I'm saying? Because, yeah, exactly. You know I mean, man. if two guys are going like, at thing, One thing you got to understand is I'll never, you'll never hear me on a record going, I'm going to clap at you or any of that shit, because I know my lane. I know my place. All you right, understand? So, so what, if the, what, if, I, what, if they, what if that talk comes from the other camp? Because, you know, you said there's more street than you. That's what the street do. That's that's how they solve their problems, man. What happens oh, then? Man. I mean, it, it it is what it is. You know, like if it's if it if it if it really gets taken there, then I would I would take it upon myself to to sort of be like, okay, well, you know, like that's it's not really it's not really like somewhere that I, I go. Like I, I just have too much to do and there's too much money to make. Like I'm not trying to <laughs> go shot for shot with you literally, you know what I'm saying? But it's like at the same time don't ever get it too like I'm not scared of I'm not scared of anybody. You know right. what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm not scared because like I heard you earlier asking who the ATF is like that's my click in the East. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like those are all all my niggas, you know what I'm saying? The ATS? It's all, bro, it's ATS. ATF. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's all my niggas in Scarborough. What, what does it stand for? Lucky, Nico, J, TJ. You know what I'm saying? Like that's still, those are my people. Like we all have friends. That's not like uh, that's not like scary to me that you uh, have big, friends. Big, big shots to ATF. We also got Boy Wonder in the building now. Oh, big shots, Boy Wonder. What up, man? Hey, what up, man? What's popping, homie? I'm just here, man. I'm just here. So what do you? I'm what, here. What's the take on this whole situation, hey, man? Like I mean, my take. Hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me let me break it down. What it is though? Let me break it down. What it is though? This is what it is, dude from offense who left the offense came to me like, uh, listen, I don't really have time to like sit there. I'll go on MySpace and listen to people's songs, see if they're dissing or whatever, see if they're talking shit about me, cause I don't have time for that, you know. So, dude who was in the offense but who left Dumbo for Menace. reason, huh? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Okay. Dude that left came and said that um, well, not came to me and said he. We, we we talked through a dude, and after he told dude that oh these niggas if you listen to that that song if you listen to that song significant or whatever he's um he's he's taking a shot at Drake so I'm like okay let me listen to this song I'm like I go and I listen to this song nah I don't rap like Kanye Joe Budden whatever everybody know that that freaking Drake sounded kind of like Budden's on do what you do so I'm like okay that's kind of like messed up and then at the same time do the thing niggas sit in the studio and talk about you and drake all day hate on you guys blah blah yo i made boy one this yo I, nobody made me you know what i mean i made me them hours i spent making them beats i made me you know what i mean nobody made me so i i took offense to that i was like oh shit like these niggas are serious like seriously I'm, i ain't talking about them like I'm over here, I don't work with Aristo. If you all know that I used to work with Aristo, but I don't know more. But hey, I, no because a situation, situation involving like basically like he he says he wanted to put this beat on his album that was on his mixtape, and after I'm like, okay, okay, cool, like all right, I'll drop a contract. I'll get my manager to drop a contract for the beat because you know when you're selling a when you're putting a beat on somebody's album. They have to be paid for it, and you have to get your royalties. Am I right, or am I wrong? That is wrong. Nigga wa ni right. Yeah. Crazy. So nigga wanted to... Nigga said, knowing my motto is no free beats, nigga said, um, friggin' that, um, yeah, you gave me the beat for free, yo. Now, okay, being being Boy Wonder, why the fuck would I say that? You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no free beats, like, fuck. And it's just common business. It's common music business. You pay somebody for a beat. You know what I mean? That's what so, I'm saying, guy. You know, you don't run up your door for us and ask for free. Nah, oh, yo, I'm, put, I'm putting your beat on the album no. and I ain't paying you. You know what I mean? And nigga talks about hustling on his track, how he's a child of a hustler, how he got so much money. I'm rolling around in the X5 uh -oh. and fucking niggas taking the bus home. Like, what the fuck? And, and niggas ain't paying for beats Ooh. and shit. So was this be tr be truthful with the people? Was this like a sort of a sort of a situation where, I mean, you really had the had a problem with him, and then and then you Yo, know what I mean it I got carried problem. out. I had a problem. I had a problem with dude. He seen me out in Windsor. Him, all his dudes were there. I was there by myself. He was just there, and he was talking to me. We resolved it. But I'm like, yo, all right, I'm I'm in my own corner. I'm doing my own thing. I'm not talking shit. Yeah. He's over here telling niggas. Two niggas came back to me, told me the same thing. Yo, Risto, yo, this guy saying, yo, boy, boy, he made boy wonder, yo. Fuck that nigga, yo. Don't work with that nigga. Yo, well, I'm not doing that to you, dog. 
Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then he goes and does takes a shot at Drake. What the fuck? What the fuck did Drake do to you? Like, you know what I mean? I like, dude, so that's why that's why we did that track. If people really want to know, that's why we did that track. We did that track because he threw a subliminal. We threw one back. If you guys are asking why we didn't say no names, he didn't say no names in the first one. Okay. You understand? Okay. Eye for an eye. So fuck. Uh, so basically, what you're saying is, for those who knew, who, for those who know, know, and for those who didn't, didn't. You see what I'm saying? It was that basically, subliminal. You, basically, basically, the like people that were involved knew who, who, what, what the hell was going on on both sides of the field. Yeah. Okay. Basically, it's like, okay, you want to throw subliminals? I will throw them back. Okay. Somebody, my, my, my mom taught me if somebody, if somebody hits you at school, you hit them back. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? Take it like a little bitch? Oh, and no. then now niggas, is, now niggas is getting anxious. Like, Yo, oh, say a name, say a name. Because they want us to say a name, you know? <laughs> yeah, Jake already said it in the track. Saying a name will only be relevant to you or whatever he said. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's the whole issue. You throw a subliminal, you get one right back. You throw something, it gets thrown back. Is, is this going to get thrown back? I don't know, probably. All, all I know is this is this some bullshit still. This some bullshit. This some real childish shit and whatnot. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I, for you to, like, I, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm a calm dude, you know what I mean? I don't really get into, I'm not the fighting type or whatever. I make beats, like, for free and crying out loud. I make beats. <laughs> like, you know, I don't, I don't go start shit with nobody. I don't start shit with nobody. I stay humble as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for you to go and, and start talking shit and saying you made me and you did this and you did that, that's some bullshit. And I ain't standing for that shit. That's some bullshit. And, and I know it's true. I know it's true. And I know it's, I know it's true. Niggas can't say, oh, yo, yo, the dude's making up shit just because he's spiteful because he doesn't work. I know that shit's true, man. Yeah. I know that shit's true. And I know, bitch. I might be a producer. I might not be a rapping ball. I'm a gangster and this and that, or, or on that gangster shit or whatever. Cause I really ain't. I really ain't. But like, I ain't. I ain't being taken like no bitch. Cause I ain't no bitch. Okay. You understand? Right, well, there you have it. That's what it is. Well, good luck on calling in and you know what I mean, giving the people. The uh, people yo, they just had to know because people people are getting it messed up. Like, oh yeah, oh I, I thought it was wrong because he didn't say a name. Oh okay, why didn't he say a name? <laughs> you guys just didn't catch on. Like, <laughs> we just we just made it a little more obvious. Okay. But you know what I mean? Okay. Like he, it's like it's like he's like he's trying to then he's trying to like bring it like oh yeah you guys took the first shot fuck all of that fuck right. that are you fuck guys that. gonna like fuck are that. We, I, are we, we just finished saying are, are we gonna resolve this or, or or is this gonna keep going? Well, Drake, Drake. Already Yo, said I don't what know, man. Do. I don't rap. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I don't so rap. Drake, Drake already said what yeah. he's gonna do. So I don't rap. You know what I mean? I make beats. Yeah. All right, check this out. Hey, listen, this is just going on right now. Um, <laughs> we got Littles calling back. We gotta keep this short and sweet. So uh, Littles, what up? Yo, I man, like yo. Niggas, boy, wonder, you know I fuck with you, right? And he knows the deal. Now, since we're going to get into this business shit, when you sell a beat to a nigga, album, mixtape, whatever, do you give him the, all the files to the beat? Yeah. I mean, if you, if you sell it to him. So if he never gave a wrist or a beat, why the fuck would you give the nigga all the files? <laughs> Stop bullshitting, man. That's um, the fucking thing I hate. Stop bullshitting. And Drake, I ain't even hearing you, nigga. Because you already know, like, Drake, ah, oh, man. I'm a, di I'm a, I got that Breeze shit, that Breeze blood in me. You seen Breeze on the crack host, right? Yeah. That's what I got in me, so I'm trying to hold my head right now. But, like I said, it's whatever. Niggas want to keep it going. Drake, you're going to do your song. I'm going to do my track. Look, I do I do my track tonight. So, yo, Littles, Littles, quick question, man. What up? If the man sells you a beat or gives you a beat for a mixtape, right? Yeah. And this is something that we're, I'm going to talk about a little bit later. I got mad beef for people who are only putting out mixtapes because yeah. it means you're not spending any money. It wasn't like... putting no money in anybody's pocket except for your own at $5 a pop, right? So if he yeah. gives you a beat for your mixtape and then you turn around and say, I'm going to put this on my album, you don't think the man should get paid for his work? Yeah, I the only, the only reason nigga wanted to get paid because he heard Rich Kid was getting paid and Why Not was getting paid. Tell the truth. But does he deserve to get paid? Yeah, yes I, no? hey, from my end, I pay, I pay the niggas. You know what I'm saying? But the point of the thing was Aristo wanted other beats. The nigga gave the other beats to someone else after he, I guess, he gave them to Aristo. So we said, yo, to my bad, here, you can have this beat. Then Aristo liked the song. The track was big. He wanted to put it on his album, and then all this funny style shit started happening. But like I said, that Aristo got to call in for all that shit yeah. because I don't really want to. 
talk yes, on his end, you know what I'm okay. saying? Well, but on my end, I heard my name finally, so I'm gonna do a hundred tracks, nigga. Like I'm from, uh, like me and my <laughs> team, I'll do a track a fucking day. I have a song on the crack coast every Tuesday. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I got nothing better to do but get money and make music. This is my. I don't. I don't rap, Drake. You keep saying this shit about entertainment, and I, I don't rap, nigga. This is my life. This is my job. So at the end of the day, if I don't make it in rap or I don't cake off rap, I'm back in the streets, nigga. So this ain't nothing to me. I'll do it every fucking day. You and know what I'm saying? And then all these nigga, oh, Choice is my boy. I like Choice is... Shut the fuck up, man. This is the <laughs> offense. We here. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. So it is what it is. I'm banging shit out myself. My team don't want me to do it. I'm banging shit out myself. I'm all the way in Scotia. I should have right. stayed another week in Toronto. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the body rock is here. I ain't going nowhere, man. And... And No Frills is here, and Biz is here, and now Young Tony's here. Tony, what is popping, man? What's good, baby? Yo, listen, listen. I'm, I'm going to settle everything right now. Boy Wonder and Aristo, Bossy Match, I'm going to put $1,000 up for the winner. Oh, oh, what? what? Boxy Match? Whoa. Out of my pocket, Boy Wonder versus Aristo. A thousand dollars. In a what? In a boxing match? In a boxing match. <laughs> what? In a ring? I got gloves in my trunk. A thousand dollars out of my pocket. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. You know what? The if I was a wrist or if I was Boy Wonder, I, you know what I mean? For me to throw on some gloves, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good thing. Let, yo, let's, listen, let's make this interesting. Yo, and, and let, 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 let's 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 already accept the challenge. Boy Wonder already accept the challenge. Aristo, oh. I don't want to hear none of that. Oh, a thousand dollars is nothing. <laughs> you know? Hey, you know what? Your pride, 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 pride is on the line right now. Your pride is on the line. Thousand dollars, so it isn't a waste of time. Have a boxing match. We'll meet somewhere. Videotape it. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, that's crazy. Hey, hey, yo, 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 gotta make this a yo, I like that. that. <laughs> I like that idea. A thousand that, bucks that, out of my pocket, just, back. just, just to stop all the bullshit. You know? <laughs> But this is that you gotta admit though. This is creating like some some. There's some creativeness and and like musical content that are coming out of this. You know what I mean? Like well, this is the thing though. See, the whole problem starts with Boy Wonder and Aristo, and Boy Wonder doesn't rap. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So he can't make a diss track. No, I know, but but, he, but he's yeah, obviously but, employing. You know what I mean? Employing Drake to do it. So I mean, what? I mean, I mean, yeah. What but Drake, the whole Drake problem said? starts with Boy Wonder and Aristo. So I'm gonna put a thousand dollars up. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take it out of my pocket, have a boxing match, and then shut niggas up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll see what's the response to that. Man. I got the gloves. I got the gloves. I'll provide transportation, and I'm putting the money up. <laughs> good, and I'm putting the money up. Okay, and I'll even throw in. I'll even throw in an extra five hundred if you knock the nigga out, yo. <laughs> Straight up, five hundred right, for a knockout. Right Aristo, drink in a box. <laughs> and yo, it's hot. Yo, Aristo needs to call in. Pardon me? Because he's, he's not too big to talk on the Crack House radio. He needs to call in. Okay. Aristo, call in. He needs to call in because sometimes he thinks he's too big for certain things. He's not too big for this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he needs to call in. And yo, and yo, and tell Pinky, I'll put up five G's for a boxing match when I get better. Uh, I'll put up five for that. Okay, we'll yeah. see that too. Then we gotta get like yeah. Don King up in the crack house or something. <laughs> we'll get we'll get we'll get Bishop to get Bulldog to sponsor that one. We'll put that one in the poker <laughs> tour. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Good luck, Tony. Yeah, yeah. How come we all how come we all can't just get along? And be <laughs> friends? I can't we be friends, Dennis? <laughs> oh man. You know how we put it down, it's the crack house, baby. It's the big body rock Asiatic. Biz in the building, Tech Nine, no frills in Taliban. Yeah. And guess what? Look who we got on the phone. State oh, your man. name, state your business, baby. Yeah, it's Aristo, man. What's really Aristo, good, what's man? What's poppin', daddy? What's good, my nigga? Hey, we here, man. It's about time you called in, man. <laughs> yeah, it's man. About we, spoke time. Early. We, already, we already spoke earlier today, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. And I showed you, I showed you what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is some real, this is some real girl shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you heard that? You heard that? So you gonna, you gonna take a shot? And you know, when a nigga take a shot back, it's like, oh fuck, come on, dude. Like, come on, yo, Asiatic, on some real shit. I'm gonna ask you on some math to mess shit. If you heard a nigga that was talking about you, you gonna run back and fucking clap the nigga? I'm not gonna fucking do a record about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some real shit. You'll see the nigga on, on, on the street. I'm not gonna do a record about it. You see exactly. what I'm saying? I'ma see him. You see what I'm saying? If someone got beef with me, put it this way. I got a lot of beef with a lot of these sucker DJs, okay, that want to talk about Asiatic and Asiatic this and this and this and that. I'm just smack him in the face. But I'm just saying, 
They talk about me, and I catch them talking about me, I will bring it to them. You see what I'm saying? That's how I am. You see what I'm saying? That's real talks right there. You yeah, I, 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 so real shit, I, I, I didn't even want it. Like, niggas will tell you, B. I didn't even want to fucking do the response. It was just like... This is like, come on, dude. Like, I, I, I told, I told everybody, Aristo. I told everybody earlier today in our conversation that I spoke with you, and really, truly, you weren't trying to entertain this. It's really everybody else that's trying to blow this up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, yo, don't don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying. Like niggas is doing this shit over there, and we doing our shit over here. You know what I'm saying. But like, we we just don't put our business out there like that. Right, dude. This shit that's popping on on right. our side. That niggas don't even know about yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not here to brag or nothing like that. Right. But yo, dude, you doing your shit? Do your shit and fucking make the city pop. Like fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do your shit, dog. I'm not. I'm not even hating on niggas, b. You know what I'm saying? Like boy, one yeah, me and the nigga used to work together. We had a little differences. Okay, that's dope. I seen a nigga. I told him what it was, and and it was done. That's you feel me? Saying. Like I moved on. Like what the fuck is this nigga talking about? I'm broke and I take the bus, nigga. What the fuck are you yeah. talking about? I never seen you on the bus. Never. And 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 a fucking hundred and five hundred niggas in the city will tell you that I don't fucking take no bus and I ain't broke, nigga. Well, I never. Everybody I know, I never seen on the bus anyway. So, <laughs> you know what I mean, but I'm just saying, you know, everybody got their own, you know, got their own uh, opinion. And hey, yo, dude, that's the real shit. Like, like my my record wasn't no fucking uh, subliminal bullshit, nothing no fugazi fictional shit. You feel me? Uh, my shit was real, and the nigga came on the, uh, on on the air and he told you niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't coming with no fucking. This ain't. I'm not coming with no. Let me make up bullshit and blah blah. Like, come on, dude. Fuck, man. Oh, this is some real shit. You coming at me on some on some sideline shit? So I'm coming. I'm coming at you straightforward, straight in, it's in your face. I, I, I respect that. You know what I mean? I respect. You know what I'm everything. saying, but that's some real shit. I'm not even really trying to entertain this shit. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I'm done with this shit. Right, so you feel know me? Like I got. People, I'm working on my album man, right now. I got some. I got some shit I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to do so this foundation for the like kids. That. What? Go ahead, plug your projects, man. You know what I mean? Like, niggas, I got two free download mixtapes coming out. You know what I mean? I just did this, the, you know what I mean? I did the, um, the, the R&B remix mixtape that's getting ready to drop. Free download. You know what I mean? I'm going to probably press up like 2,000 get a shit away to all the bitches. Right. You know what I mean? I got the, the return mixtape, which is a bunch of freestyles I had, including um, the Swagnificent joint. You know what I mean? Like, that's going to be on there. And that's going to be a free download, too. Like, fuck, nigga. I got joints for days, nigga. Like, shh. Niggas don't even know, B. So, and I got I got the Block Exchange coming, which is a little, you know, I mean, it's a little, it's, it's a CD that's going to be a little promo thing for my album. I'm, I'm going to be on tour with that shit. Right, you know so, what I mean? In Canada and in the U.S. He's, Feel he's me? Coming, so it's like... I don't know, I don't know if you heard, but he, I, like, it sounds like pretty, pretty, pretty certain that he's coming back. Like, if, if it's... Well, the nigga could do whatever he's doing, man. He's coming back. I mean... I he could do whatever he's doing, man. What's going to happen on your end, Arisso? What? What's gonna happen here on your end? Whatever happens, happens. Feel me? Uh, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it that's is, what man. That's what it is. Whatever happens, happens. You see what I'm saying? But uh, I mean, there you have it, Toronto. Everybody listening across the world, you heard it from Maristo. You heard it from Drake. You heard it from Boy Wonder. You heard it from Littles. You know what I mean? You know now where it stands, so don't be fucking going and changing up what you heard and talking shit and starting rumors. Yeah. Because that shit is hot. You know, you know that's what's gonna happen anyway, so yeah, like, it's like, there's, there's no real point in me calling in, but, but uh, you know, you know whatever. What? Aristo just said it right now. He said he's done with it. You see what I'm saying? I have to respect that. What Drake said, you know what I mean? He's going to do it. It's a competitive sport. I respect that. Everybody's point of view, I have to respect. We keep it on wax. That's how we go keep this hip-hop shit going, especially in Canada. You see what I'm saying? But other than that, you see what I'm saying? Let's leave it on wax. Like Aristo said, it's done. It's dead. No, I mean, like, dude took a shot, I took a shot back, and, you know, whatever. You said what you have I to mean, say. It, the more the more this shit goes on, a lot of people behind the scenes is going to get offended. You feel me? And I'm just, I'm not, I'm not really trying to go that route with it. You, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, do you, do you, do you, have you thought about people throwing it around that, that you could hear something come from, from the air and rocks camp because of the mention of them? And they I can mean, do what they want to do. Like, those are facts, nigga. Those are facts. These niggas know that shit's a fact. Like, come on, dude. Like, if you want to come at me on that shit, then, you know, I guess you, you feel that you got to ride on me because, you know, you're trying to cover that up. But Okay. Well, everybody, you heard it. Good luck. You know what I mean? Aristo, thanks for calling in, man. It's a blessing. You already, you already know what it is, you know, We, we going to get up. You see what I'm saying? Big shots to everybody that called in. All the callers. We got about... Eight, no, seven minutes to go. You Shout know, out everybody in Toronto doing their thing, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, got, I, I love my enemies, uh, and I love the niggas that love me too. You feel me? So it ain't nothing, man. I feel you. Good luck.